Hey, what is going on, my guys? This video is some footage of some sample that I've made that I've been meaning to drop because I really, really like this sample and it sounds a lot different from what I usually make. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on, my guys? Another vegan, another video. You guys know what's up. I do know is we're starting off with this little music box that I have here. I'm using contact and I just have this sample set up like this. And here's the MIDI right here. And I pretty much just stretched it out so it can pretty much be like a manual gross beat. So here's what that sounds like. So I have a half time going right here. We have one half loop. We have, we're on half speed mode, but I took the mix down to about like 30% because I didn't want it to be completely half time because that's just way too slow. But I still wanted that bottom end to come in and I wanted to kind of fill up this sample because I felt like it sounded kind of thin. So here's what that sounds like right now. All right, so with that being said, I think I wanna do one more thing. I know we have an EQ, just cutting out some of these lows here. I'm gonna add some keys on top of this. So let's see where this takes us. I'm just gonna open up some FL keys real quick just to get the melody down and then we can go ahead and switch that out for a better piano. Go ahead, I wanna raise the volume of this. So let's add, uh, I'm just gonna add a wave shaper right now because honestly, I'm being lazy. And pretty much what I'm gonna to try to go for here is some sort of a call and a response effect. So as you can hear, we have the -n 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 -n, and there's like a little pause after that. Right here. So right in between, right in between these notes right here, I wanna add some sort of roll, some sort of piano roll. So let's see what we can do. something like that and maybe we can add a, like a faster roll right here Just one chord here. This is one chord. That's it. We're in the key of G, if I'm not mistaken. That's not the key of G, bro. You're not in the key of G. Oh no, it's C. Never mind. It's C. And I want to go ahead and move this over because it's just distracting me, to be honest. Is it major? A major G? Oh, it might be. All right. And maybe we can do like a little step down. Let's go with a step and see if we can do like a little step down here. That should, that should be good right there. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like. Very, very simple. Really, all we have is some bass notes and these extra kind of complimentary notes up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy. No, what are, what are you doing? Copy and paste this. Because I want it to be on the second half also at the same time. So these notes need to go up. A little down, a little lower. These are a little too early. Maybe we can end this off with a couple of notes over here. All right, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Um, let's get some, I'm going to change this out for a different piano. Let's see. You feel me? And we can go ahead and just get a, a 
Philharmonic Grand Bright Piano, and we're gonna wait for this to load up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, to be honest, because no one plays the piano perfectly anyway, and let's extend these notes. Let's see what this sounds like. Let's get this middle note up, raise it up an octave. Now with this second chord, I'm going to raise the octave of the middle note again. And then we can have an extra... Boom. Ooh, that sounds fire. Alright, so now let's see what that sounds like with the music box on top of that. I feel like this little transient, the beginning of this, the beginning of this uh, music box is a little too harsh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gross beat uh, gate. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just set it up like this. So that kind of fades in right click. Smooth, something like this. And then we can do the same thing over here again. Just like that. Right click, smooth. You can actually bring this one. You can actually delete this one. And do something like this. Move this over, move this like this, move this here, and move this all the way down. And it also gives it a nice little bounce. So let's see with the chords what that sounds like. We can actually add some some reverb on this. Let's take this parametric EQ and bring it all the way down. Add some reverb here. Open up Valhalla. Valhalla Vintage Verb. A little too much. All right, that sounds pretty good. I mean, that, that sounds pretty interesting to me. I don't know about to you. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Edison, press on play. I don't know why this is, there we go. Press record and go ahead and render that out. That is gorgeous, bro. That is so gorgeous, that's so beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this sample. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and play with the pitch. Let's pitch this down to 300 cents, see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty cool to me. I'm going to move this on uh, track number four. And then let, let's play with some other settings here. Let's go one third. a little weird I'm not gonna lie to you let's go up 200 cents I'm not a fan of that let's go to halftime and then take the lows out
And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys haven't already subbed, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and do that. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And I'm going to try to be even more consistent with the uploads. So just stay tuned. I'm coming with more, more, more videos, more fire, more heat, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next time.